kinangalan alab ng puso sa dibdib mo'y buhay lupang hinirang duyan ka nang makiting sa manlulupi di ka pa sisiin sa dagat at bundok sa simoy at sa langit mo pagkaw may dilag kang tula at tawit sa paglayang minamahal ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagong pa'y na nagtitingin ang bitupin na tarong niya kailang pamay di magdidiling lupa ng araw ng war at itpagsinta buhay ay langit sa piling mo aming ligaya ng pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Let us pray. Our almighty, compassionate, and loving God, thank you for the wonderful blessings of life and health. Thank you for everyone gathered here now in this virtual graduation of the School of Graduate Studies. Glorious God, thank you that you can satisfy our every desire and need. Your word says that we should give honor to you and will exalt you at all times, and praise will always be on our lips, and will glorify and exalt your name together. Today, we celebrate this joyous and memorable event of Central Philippine University School of Graduate Studies, BATS 2020-2021. We celebrate all that they have achieved academically. Thank you for walking with them in their journey. May they face their future, with the same faith, hope, and vision of those who have inspired them, and may they commit themselves to a new journey of service. Lord, bring us into the wonder of your holy presence today. In the name of the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We prayed hard for the new strength in the midst of pandemic caused by COVID-19 and that the Lord our God will infuse us with his strength and power. He answered our prayers and your success and celebration today is our achievement, the product of mutual trust and partnership. Our university's quick adaptation of the most recent technology had addressed your concern for continuing education in the absence of physical attendance in all the classroom activities during your last school year. You have overcome the challenges and completed the academic requirements of your respective courses without meeting your professors and friends. As you celebrate today the success in one major chapter of your life, let me extend to you and all members of your family our felicitations and our praises and admiration for your hard work, dedication, patience, and perseverance. Our alma mater is very proud of you. We have different religious, social, and cultural orientations, but we are confident that our exposure to different campus activities and ministries had given you the wisdom to discern the real meaning and purpose of life. What you have earned from our university is not only limited to your academic preparations, more than that, you have strengthened your faith and developed within your inner self the spiritual maturity and the most acceptable moral values. Carry the torch entrusted to you by our alma mater wherever your destination brings you. 
for the Lord is always with you. As you depart from the hallowed ground of our university, I pray that you delicate the Lord with all your heart, walking in His Spirit moment by moment, and growing in your dependence in God. God bless you all. Warm Centralian greetings. I congratulate the graduating class of the School of Graduate Studies for school year 2021-2022. On top of your responsibilities in your homes and duties in the workplace, you had to adjust to online classes. It was not easy na navigating online learning, and no one will disagree with me. Yet, you are here ready to receive your Central Philippine University degrees and the university shares in your joy. We celebrate this achievement with you because it is a mark of your persevering spirit and of God's faithfulness. For some of you, it has been two tough years. For others, it has been longer. Still, what binds you all is your desire to become better professionals through the graduate degrees you have earned at Central Philippine University. It is our prayer that by earning these degrees, you will be instruments of change in your workplaces and in your communities. Thank you for choosing Central Philippine University. We are challenged to improve our teaching and maintain the quality of academic training that we offer. Your graduation is also an opportunity for us to congratulate and thank your families, your colleagues, and your support system. Uh, they have seen you through this new normal and have undoubtedly been cheering you on selflessly. I also commend the faculty and staff of the School of Graduate Studies, led by their dean, Dr. Rowena M. Libuon, Thank you very much for all that you do for Central. To the graduating class of the School of Graduate Studies, you will now earn your masteral and doctoral degrees. Always remember who the real master of your lives is, Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of our faith. It is our prayer that as Centralians, you will always be guided by his wisdom and his will in all you do. Congratulations, and to God be the glory. My dear graduates, your perseverance and hard work have brought you here in your graduation day. Your faith in God and the prayers of support from your family, friends, classmates, and professors sustained your journey. Many new directions and opportunities may come your way. New letters are added after your name. Those letters meant a lot to you personally because you have strived to earn them. New knowledge through researches have become part of your life. May you always remember your journey in CPU school of graduate studies. You were not alone. It was a journey of the community of the School of Graduate Studies. And they have contributed to your success. We all wish you success and may God bless everyone. Will all candidates for graduation please rise? Mr. President, I have the honor to present this year's candidates for graduation. They have completed the requirements of the course that they have pursued as prescribed by the university and confirmed 
by the Commission on Higher Education and are now entitled in their respective degrees and diplomas. By virtue of the authority vested on me by the Board of Trustees of Central Philippine University and with the confirmation by the Commission of Higher Education, I hereby confer upon you your degrees with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities appertaining. Congratulations, you are now graduates of Central Philippine University. Graduates from the School of Graduate Studies, as of summer 2020. Graduating with a degree, Master in Library and Information Science. Mary Ann Escropolo Ejan from Igbaras, Iloilo. Thesis, Technological Skills in the Digital Era of School Librarians in Iloilo City. Basis for a Proposed Training Design. Parents, Mr. Jose and Mrs. Florencia Escropolo and husband, Mr. Bienvenido E. Ejan. As of the first semester, 2020-2021, Graduating with a degree, Master in Library and Information Science. Michelle Joy Miake Crucero of Manduriao, Iloilo City. Thesis, Compliance of City and Provincial Libraries in Western Visayas with a Minimum Standard for Public Libraries in the Philippines. Husband, Mr. Lawrence Joan E. Crucero. As of the second semester, 2020-2021, graduating with a degree, Master in Library and Information Science. Eugenia Estrullo Suaga. Thesis, Resources, Services, and Usage of Municipal Libraries in the Province of Iloilo. Husband, Jomari C. Suaga. As of the first semester, 2020-2021 Graduating with a degree, Master of Science in Computer Science Keith Serbolie Sensoro of Kalinog, Iloilo Thesis, Document Management System Using Optical Character Recognition, Clustering, Water Making, and or Coding Algorithms Parents, Mr. Romeo and Mrs. Desamparado Sensoro. Antoinette Acebuche Fuentes of Rojas City. Thesis, Trike, a mobile transportation application using Bellman Ford algorithm. Parents, Mr. Antonio and Mrs. Lydia Acebuche. Cherry Arroyo Palomar of Dumarao Capis. Thesis, Frame-Based Expert Decision Support System for Medical Diagnosis Parents, Mr. Felimon and Mrs. Anesha Palomar As of the first semester, 2020-2021 Graduating with a degree, Master of Arts in Education, Major in Guidance and Counseling Peter George Hamelo Dofelis of Pavia, Iloilo. Thesis, Common Problems of Senior High School Students and Exploratory Study. Parents, Mr. Peter and Mrs. Marilu Dofelis. As of the second semester, 2020-2021, graduating with a degree, Master of Arts in Education, Major in Educational Administration and Supervision. John Kevin Gildore Eclarin of La Paz, Iloilo City. Thesis, Competencies Covered, Classroom Strategies and Assessments of Senior High School English Teachers and Selected Schools in Iloilo City. Parents, Mr. Daniel Joseph and Mrs. Juvie Eclarin and wife, Mrs. Verily Faith O. Eclarin. 
as of the second semester 2020-2021, graduating with a degree Master of Divinity. Ana Agustino Dini of Dumangas, Iloilo. Thesis, An Exegetical Analysis on the Use of Tzitzit in Prayer in Numbers chapter 15, verses 37 to 41. Husband, Henry P. Dini. As of the second semester, 2020-2021, graduating with a degree, Master of Science in Guidance and Counseling. Mary Rose Diaz Catalan of Rojas City. Thesis, Facilitators and Barriers in the Extent of Difficulties in Career Decision-Making Experienced by Senior High School Students in Rojas City. Parents, Mr. Honorio and Mrs. Noemi Diaz and husband, Attorney Vicente Atlas R. Catalan. As of the first semester, 2020, 2021. Graduating with a degree, Doctor of Education, Major in Educational Administration and Supervision. Edgardo Pareño Hirada of Haro, Iloilo City. Dissertation, Development and Evaluation of Modules for Senior High School Physics Teachers. Why? Mrs. Jimema Di Herada and daughter, Ms. Saivel Marie Di Herada. As of the second semester, 2020-2021, graduating with a degree, Doctor of Management, major in Public Management. Subin, from Henan, China. Dissertation. Supervisor's Leadership Style, Personal Empowerment, Engagement, Work-Life Balance, Job Satisfaction, and Intention to Stay in the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in Henan Province, China. Wife, Huli Chen, and son, Chen Yu Tzu. As of the second semester, 2020-2021. Graduating with a degree, Doctor of Management, Major in Tourism and Hospitality Management. Janet Villarus Ledesma of Rojas City. Dissertation Determinants of Tourists, Satisfaction. The case of DOT accredited accommodation establishments in the province of Capiz, Philippines. Husband, Mr. Hessen G. Ledesma. Melchi Gayosa Palapar of Takorong City, Sultan Kudarat. Dissertation, Food Tourism Industry in Soxargen Region. Resources, Awareness, Attitude, and Compliance with the Implementing Rules and Regulations on Food Safety and Sanitation among Street Food Vendors. Husband, Mr. Rene J. Palapar. journey it has been and the end 
is not in sight But the stars are out tonight And they're bound to guide my way When they're shining on my life I can see a better day I won't let the darkness in what a journey it has been I have been through sorrow I have been through bliss Where I'll be tomorrow I can go through the darkest desert, through the deepest snow, forward, always forward I'll go. What a journey! Attorney Von Lovell Bidona, Chairman of CPU Board of Trustees, our University President, Dr. Chudoro C. Robles, Dr. Rowena M. Libuon, Dean, School of Graduate Studies, other key officials of the university, our beloved professors, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant and safe day to all of you. Years ago, each one of us made a firm decision to pursue a degree in our beloved Central Philippine University. It's been an established fact that arriving at this point of our students' lives takes lots of sweat, tears, courage, sacrifices, and perseverance. To make it happen, one must valiantly hurdle every challenges and difficulties that comes along. Honestly, there is a point where I wanted to give up. But James 1 verse 12 gave me a strong motivation to persevere at it says, those who stand firm during testing are blessed. They are tried and true. They will receive 
the life God has promised to those to love Him as their reward. Life is not without hardships, but the person who perseveres through both the good and the bad will lead a life more fulfilling. Our journey as a student is like a roller coaster ride. Overcoming all those trials amidst the COVID-19 pandemic is probably not just an achievement, but for me, it is a very significant history. My fellow graduates of Batch 2021, we are the living epitome that no matter what life entails, even at the midst of chaos, struggles, and adversities, we can still turn our dreams into reality, that there is hope and light even in the darkest era of our life. COVID-19 pandemic cannot stop us from becoming who really want to become. As long as we hold on in our dreams, with faith and perseverance and courage to choose to keep on moving on and straddle the path even if we do not really know what lies ahead. Then we can definitely achieve an extraordinary achievement at this darkest and challenging hour of humanity. Today, we are gathered here to celebrate our success. We can raise our heads high for we have overcome all the challenges life threw at us in the past years. It has not been easy, but we have reached the end of this hurdle. If there is one thing I greatly treasured in my four years journey in the graduate studies, it is the realization that I will never succeed only on my own. And I do hope also the realization of my fellow graduating students. Most often than not, we need the support, inspiration, and kindness of other people around us, most especially our family. We can't do it alone. Even in this time of pandemic, even with social distancing, we need the compassion and understanding of others. And with that, I am very grateful for those people who took their time and effort in inspiring, challenging, collaborating, and in helping me in so many different ways. My success is your success, and I am heartily sharing this moment with you. To my fellow graduates, perhaps this is the right time to say thank you to all those people who impact us, both in positive and negative ways, whose gestures enable you to sustain, appreciate, and continue our academic journey. Let us all tell them thank you so much. In closing, I would like to say that in life, only the persistent, Courageous, flexible, and adaptable species can achieve an extraordinary achievement like we did. CPU indeed honed us and prepare us to be one in its commitment for excellent education for life. Truly, Isaiah 58 verse 11, which says, Where God guides, He provides is a real inspiration to all of us. Kudos Batch 2021! Stay safe everyone and God bless us all. Let us pray. O Lord our God, ever faithful and loving, who alone can give eternal significance to our achievements. We thank you for the lives of our graduates at the School of Graduate Studies. We thank you for the many ways you have sustained them towards the completion of their academic pursuits. We are also grateful for the presence of mentors, classmates, family, and friends 
whose presence have inspired our graduates to, to finish strong. As you have led them in the past, up to this time that they have arrived on this significant milestone in their academic journey. O oh Lord, I pray that you would lead them in the respective paths that they tread on. May their acknowledgement of your Lordship propel them to fulfill their common vocation in the world, to be a channel of your blessings in their own areas of influence. May they realize that it is only by living at the center of your will that they will find the eternal value of their success. We commit them to you, Lord, for your safekeeping, protection, and blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. The CPU Alumni Association officers and members of the Board of Trustees are praying for all of you as you prepare for the next chapter of your lives. May you live up to the vision and mission of Central Philippine University. Now please raise your right hand as you take the pledge of the alumni. I state your name, do hereby solemnly pledge my loyalty to Central Philippine University Alumni Association Incorporated, my support to its program of fostering a vital relationship between alumni and the public, my willingness to generate and harness all resources with which the university can pursue its program of quality education, my conviction to promote the spirit of inquiry and intellectual discipline of moral and spiritual search and service to humanity. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome to the CPU Alumni Association. God bless everyone. And now, go into the world in peace, have courage, take hold of what is good, never pay back wrong for wrong, let compassion be your companion, and forgiveness your constant friend. Keep the fires of the Spirit burning, seek always what is best, keep the faith. The Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.